Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. We are back, as you have seen in the preceding videos from the Compass Games Expo 2019. And we have a bevy of unboxing videos for you, so stay tuned to the channel. Those will be coming along in the next uh, week or two. Uh, but in the meantime, we have the first of them. It is this game, Pacific Tide. The United States versus Japan, 1941 to 1945. Now, this is a game that's got a pretty good reception. It is a Gregory Smith design. Um, it is a game about the Pacific War, of course. And I believe that there is a solitaire system. There's a solitaire bot. Um, we had some people playing this at Compass Games Expo, um, and uh, they liked it a lot. So at the very last minute, um, I picked it up. So it is in a one inch looks like doesn't look like one and a half looks like a one inch box to me so it's not an enormous uh, not an enormous game but opening her up here it's a pretty thick box we have a large bag of red and blue dice which I am happy to say are at least somewhat medically appropriate so that's great we have a compass games 2019 catalog is this the one with the holiday stuff in it probably not so uh, actually it is it's the 20 uh, actually, it's last year's holiday catalog. Well, so we don't need to go through this. If you would like to see the 2019 holiday catalog, the details of the holiday sale, I have a video on that, so go check that out. There is a deck of cards, So, and we'll look at those in a moment. There is a rule book, a couple player aid cards, and a map. So let's, uh, let's look at the individual components. Now, this is one of the rare uh, situations where I will be able to show you pretty much the whole map um, in the frame that I have available because it is, uh, I believe, pretty much a half standard sized war game map. This is a paper map. It's uh, pretty thick stuff though. It's not, uh, it's not super thin or anything like that. Um, as you can see, this is a point-to-point -point game. Um, I haven't really looked at this. I know there is some game uh, play video on it. Um, so we have here the rule book. Map, map looks pretty nice. Who did the map art? That would be cool to know. Um, it looks like artist is Ilya Kudryashov. Well, we'll just have to assume that I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is probably not the case. Uh, so what we have here is a map finish, 16 page rule book. However, um, The looks like only about 12 pages are actual rules. Uh, so this is a pretty straightforward game. I did get to meet Gregory Smith at uh, Compass Expo. He's a really cool guy. Um, he was running demos more or less nonstop of either Pacific Tide or of Interceptor Ace, which is brand new. If you would, I didn't pick that up. So if you would like to see an unboxing of that, please check out the Players Aid. They posted one a few days back. Um, so it looks like we have multiple scenarios, which is cool. Uh, the playtime on this is supposed to be two to three hours. Um, <clears throat> let's look at the counter sheet here. So obviously I'm not going to go through the whole rule book, but it's matte finish, 16 pages, of which there's 12 pages of rules. <clears throat> and it's full color. looks like it's well illustrated. We've got some designer's notes in the back. I always like to read those. Um, so, and we have dedication here. Um, Robert L. Thomas, Sergeant U.S. Army, recovered personnel division as occupational force in the Philippines, June 16th, 1944 to December 7th, 1946. And Richard F. Gliwa, Fireman First Class in the U.S. Navy, USS Taberer, uh, 418, Asiatic Pacific Theaters, September 29th, 1943 to April 6th, 1946. Uh, the player aid looks like um, a big chunk of the player aid is the regular sequence of play, and then on the back there is a solitaire plate, which looks like a pretty standard solitaire bot. Um, the folks I talked to had not tried the solitaire bot yet, because um, they had pretty much just picked this up. So we got here a uh, what looks like, to me, 9 16 inch counters on a white coarse stock that is, I would say, a little, maybe a bit thin, but not alarmingly thin. Um, and as you can see, we got the, you know, U.S. forces in blue, or uh, Allied forces in blue, I suppose I should say, since there's some British ships here, um, and the Japanese Axis forces in red, and we got some what look like control markers down here. So this is a game that I think would be uh, pretty suitable for uh, both vassal play, and of course, this is a card-driven game. 
Um, so there's a deck of cards as well. So actually, um, let's bust that open and at least take a look at a couple of the cards. This is always tricky to do. Um, you either gotta pick the thing open with your fingernails, which I don't have any of, or you gotta cut it open and you, I'm always worried about damaging the cards. So we got it there. Uh, it looks like there's about 55 or 60 cards here. There are probably numbers, so we'll get to find out in a second. Um, pretty handsome uh, card backs, which look just like the box cover, pretty much. Um, we have... They are not in numerical order. Come on. Uh, actually, there are. It looks like there's two sets of cards, of 24 cards. So there's about... Plus these... Uh, plus these uh, what look like player aid cards. So there's uh, 52 cards is what it looks like here. Uh, and they're pretty handsome cards. They've either got the Japanese background um, or the American flag background. Um, these look relatively straightforward. Um, I'm told this is a very well-balanced game, which is awesome um, to know. So we will uh, we'll be taking a closer look at this in the coming days. So quick, uh, quick video unboxing of Pacific Tide. Uh, like I said, this was a last-minute pickup on my part, so um, I'm actually pretty excited about it, having talked to a bunch of people who were also pretty excited about it. So, uh, nice, a nice-looking game by Gregory M. Smith and Compass Games. So, uh, stay tuned. There is more goodies on the way.